Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. The brand new game from FromSoft is here, these are the developers who made Dark Souls, it's called Elden Ring and it came out on Steam today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play the game in 3D in a VR headset. Also, if you want to, you can watch the whole video in 3D as well. Now if you want to watch the video, you can watch the video in 3D with big screen or virtual desktop. Virtual desktop is what I'm going to use to play the game in 3D. In this video I'm going to show the whole process from start to finish. The first thing you need to do, you need to go to the Reshade website and you need to download the latest version of Reshade. Click on download and it's version 5.02 which is the version I'm using in this video. Download it and save it on your PC. Once you've downloaded the reshade, run the program and it's going to search your PC for games. Now you need to find Elden Ring. There we go. Select Elden Ring and then click on Next. This is a DirectX 12 game so make sure you select DirectX 12 and then click on Next. I've already got Reshade installed so it wants to try and modify my installation. The first time you try this you will not see this box. If you want to uninstall the 3D then you run Reshade and you hit uninstall. So I'm going to modify my existing Reshade. This is what you'll see the first time you boot up Reshade. Uncheck everything and make sure you select Depth 3D and then click on next and it's going to download all the files you need to make the 3D work. Now all these boxes will be checked the first time you run this program as well. Uncheck everything and all you need to do is select Super Depth 3D VR and then click on next, finish and that's it. That's reshade installed. Now all you need to do is run Steam VR. Go to your library and run Virtual Desktop. If you don't have Virtual Desktop, in my video above here, I show you how to use a free alternate program that uses Reshade to show the 3D in your headset. So if you don't have Virtual Desktop, there is an alternative and you can find that alternative in my guide video. We're going to launch Virtual Desktop. This is the virtual desktop menu and you need to make sure you tick half SPS which is basically half side by side. The way that Reshade works on SuperDepth 3D it splits the game into two images. One on the left, one on the right. So basically the left is your left eye and the right is your right eye and that will give you a stereoscopic image inside your headset that will be in 3D. Now half side by side allows you to play that stereoscopic image in your headset. Now all we need to do is to run the game and we should see reshade. If you see the warning message click on OK. This game is using an anti-cheat system so I am not playing the game online. I am playing the game offline. The game is running, reshade is installed, if I hit the home key you'll see the reshade menu. Now I'm going to show you my settings in the game first. So we're going to press any key. I'm going to go to my options menu. System. I am playing the game with the uh, PlayStation 5 DualSense controller guys. It works perfectly. I'm going to show you my changes I made in the settings. Okay, so I changed the brightness a little bit. The game can be quite dark. I put it onto 8. When I first tried the game this morning, the game would not let me create a character. I could not enter my name. It was all red. No matter what I did, I could not enter a name. Now that might be something to do with the anti-cheat system. 
the anti-cheat might notice that I've got reshade running and it might have disabled the character creation process. So I rebooted up the game, turned reshade off, went into the system menu and on the screen here network I went down to launch settings and I made sure that was play offline. So when I selected play offline and I went back to create a new character it worked and I could play the game. So just bear that in mind. For the purpose of this video this is a very demanding game. I've got the quality settings on low. If I go into advanced settings everything's on low or off. Play around with these settings based on your experience with the game in 3D. And that's it really. So now I'm going to jump into a game, we're going to activate Reshade and I'm going to show you how to get the best possible 3D in the game. I'm going to continue my game. Ok so we're inside the game now. I'm going to hit the home key. The first time you boot up the game and you hit the home key you'll have some information here in the reshade menu. Click on continue until you get to this screen here. This is the reshade preset screen and you need to make sure you click Super Depth 3D VR. As soon as I hit this button here watch the background change. We now have a split image. If I hit the home key now you can now see this picture in 3D in big screen or virtual desktop. If I put on my headset now I can see the game in 3D. Reshade has got two methods to make 3D work in a game. At the moment this is not very good 3D. There's another method to make the 3D even better. So you do need to experiment with both methods to see which one is the best. In the bottom menu you need to scroll down and you need to find the depth map. Where it says DM0 normal click on the drop box and select DM1 reversed. That is a better 3D image. If I go into here now that 3D looks amazing now. I can give you a visual example of how this works. If I go back to the normal one 0. If I hit the death map view you can see a grey screen. Now if this was in 3D you would see a series of different shades of grey. Now if I change this to the reversed you can now see the 3D. So the darker the grey the more the 3D. I'm going to show you how to get this to look even better in 3D. There's two ways to make the 3D even better. If you're watching this video right now in 3D I want you to make note of this screen. Make note of all the 3D depth, how close the character is away from the background, from the chairs, from the carpet, from the ceiling, from the door behind him, that sort of thing. If you like this, this is the default 3D for the game with reshade, no messing around. I like a lot more 3D though. I'm going to show you how to get better 3D in the game. So I'm going to bring up the reshade menu. I'm going to bring up the depth map view again. Now you can see the gradient in the 3D. And I'm going to show you how to get this even better. If I go to the depth map adjustment here and this goes all the way to 250. Now keep an eye on this screen guys. The darker your main character gets, the more 3D it becomes. So basically it's adding more 3D to the game. Now this will go to a maximum of 250. You can go further using special commands. In this video I'm not going to go no further though. So we're going to max this to 250 and that's going to be maximum 3D. I'm going to turn off the view mode here and I'm going to show you one more trick to add a bit more 3D to the game. You're going to scroll up to the divergence and convergence. By default 
this should be on 7.5 now keep an eye on the background you'll see the image start to uh, split even more and this is going to add even more 3D to the game look again the maximum you can go is 50 remember a few moments ago I told you to keep a note of what you can see with the minimum 3D now look at it check it out now guys you should see a lot more 3D in the game now all that's left for me now is to play the game I'm going to remove myself from the video so that you get a really nice 3D image to watch okay I'm going to play the game I'm going to record my gameplay I'm going to tell you what I can see I've not played the game yet I've only been messing around in this room to get the 3D to work look at that that looks amazing I'm using the uh, gamepad to uh, move around and move the camera there might be some performance issues in the video I do apologize uh, this game is very demanding and I'm recording at the same time when I tested the game this morning I ran the game at 2k and it was flawless no issues at all and I didn't have no recording software running also don't forget I'm running the game on the low settings so you're going to be able to tweak the settings based on your PC okay let's start read the message I'm going to um, grab all the remains we found a finger in your VR headset you're playing this game on a giant 3D cinema screen and it's like being in the cinema but instead of watching a 3D movie I'm playing Elden Ring in 3D the 3D is really really good this is going to be amazing I can't wait okay wow and if you guys are watching this in 3D how amazing does this look look at that sky even the sky has got 3D depth look at the world and I have to tell you guys I am the worst souls play in the world can we hit these we can so far performance for me is amazing running really really smooth look at my character look at this castle you really get a nice sense of the uh, 3D depth here as well why would you want to play this game on a boring flat screen pancake monitor when you got the option to go to the cinema and play the game on a giant 3D cinema screen Ooh, that is a long way down look at that I just got butterflies guys this looks incredible look at this view look at the drop so no doubt I'm going to die very very easily my character is the warrior I've got two swords I'm well impressed I'm really hoping that you guys are getting to see the amazing 3D look at this guys look at the wind this is one of those games I can quite happily complete and finish in 3D this screen in the VR headset guys is so big I can't see the edges I feel like I'm right behind the main character I feel like I'm inside the game look at this statue here 
I don't know what to expect from the game. I'm not seeing... What the hell? I'm not seeing any trailers or anything. How do I block? Shit. Oh! I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Okay, what's happening? I think I died. So this is the intro. And the intro is in 3D. If you think this looks amazing right now, just wait till you start playing around with your settings. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek. The Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Wake up, mate. You can do this. Okay, we're back in the game. Okay, we've got a flask here. Crimson Tears. Okay, so you might notice a little bit of haze around the edge of the character. That is the uh, reshade making everything in 3D. And it's something that you'll get used to anyway. These are... Are these messages from people? Yes, they are. The cave of knowledge lies below. I've still got my swords anyway. What's here? There's a ghost. Hello? Take the plunge. You want me to go down there? This world's so amazing guys, I just want to explore it in 3D first. Do I take the plunge? Or do I go through the door? Let's drop down, let's see what happens. Okay, we did not die. Sights of Grace. Very similar to uh, Dark Souls. So we save the game here. Is that a bad guy? I think that's a bad guy. I don't know how to block. Just kill it. Oh, hello. Combat feels amazing. Okay, left button is guard. That's not... So my character's a warrior, and my guard button is just like, that's an attack as well, I think. Okay, and we need to dodge and roll. Okay, right thumbstick is to 
highlight the character, B to roll, very similar to a Dark Souls game. And like I said guys, I'm the worst Dark Souls player in the world. I've never finished none of the games. I think I've got about an hour into each game before I die from the bosses and then I give up. A to jump. Controls are perfect with the PlayStation 5 controller. That's supposed to block. Acquire materials. Where did he go? I've got arrows sticking in my body, look. Okay, wielding armaments. So you have to use the uh, D-pad. Okay, now I've got a block. Let me highlight him. Here's my shield. Come on, mate. How are we going to kill this guy? Okay, I've got heavy attack. Okay, is he dead? He's dead. Nice. So the right trigger is my heavy attack. Hello, boys. Okay, let me check out the uh, block mechanic. Okay, come on. Block. Oh, crap. Look at the 3D here. Break his stance, okay. <gasps> Wrong button. I'm on full health now though. Take that. No messing today. Take some Marika. So if you die, you spawn here. What's in here? Is this a boss? We're going to die, aren't we? God counters. Keep it in the wrong button. That 
got him, where? He's dead anyway. Killed him. Okay, we're heading this way. Strength. Okay, do we drop down here? Oh, we're back here. So let's go through the door. I'm guessing this is going to reset all the enemies as well. Cooperative multiplayer. We have a finger. This is one of those games you have to be really uh, methodical, explore everywhere, and you can roll into these as well like you can in Dark Souls a lot. Up we go. Wow. Now we're talking. Look at this place. Got some fruit. Save the game. Guidance of Grace. Look at the scale, guys. That's a giant tree. to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. I'm guessing the guy on the horse down there is a bad guy. Summoning poles. So if I was playing the game online you could summon your friends.
I don't know how the game's going to react to you running Reshade playing online. I know with Vorpex sometimes you can get banned. Look at the Harpies. So we can go different routes, can't we? If I bring up the map. Okay, so I'm here. We've been there. The first step. Okay, so the first step is here. Look at the rain. It's raining now. Okay, I guess the harpies are going to be more killable than the guy on the horse. I think he's a bad guy. Let's find out. Oh crap, he's a bad guy. Shit, I'm gonna die. Run away. I'm dead. Two hits. I got stomped on by his horse. How amazing does that look? Okay. Okay, so at least we've not really lost anything. I guess we're going to go towards the harpies. Eagles. That's really, really cool, guys. I've got 3D feathers dropping in front of my face. Okay. Can I pick up this rock? No. So, do we drop down here? Let's drop down here. There's a skull there. I could really do with an archer in the game. I prefer games like Skyrim. These look amazing. They look amazing, guys. I feel like I'm in a scene from Jason and the Archonauts. Okay, remember the scene from Jason and the Argonauts where he's on the ship with the harpies? I feel like Jason, this is so real. I'm dead. Killed by harpies. Okay, well, let's explore anyway, while we're here. Let's explore the world a little bit. There's my uh, loot from my dead body. Is he coming for me? Okay, they're going to leave me alone. So this game feels more like an open world game. What's this? Got some fragments. There's a campfire over here. What's that thing? Is that friendly? Let me uh, check out the campfire. Oh crap! That made me jump. That really made me jump. Uh, run away. OK. 
Okay, I don't think we can kill a dragon yet. He looks amazing though. I'm going mate, I'm going to run away. I'll leave you to it. He's trying to burn me. Oh crap! I keep saying oh crap guys, I do apologise. These things are making me jump. They are so realistic. Out of all the Dark Souls type games, I think Bloodborne is my favourite. This feels more like a Bloodborne game. Got some bones, I need to heal. I'm really enjoying the uh, the worlds though, the locations. Oh, these guys are running away. Is this one your leader? Stupid dog. Dead already, again. Killed by a puppy. Okay, we're going to have one more go. Let's try somewhere I've not been before. I do believe the game's got like dynamic weather as well. Always changing. There's a dragon over there, can you see it? At the uh, top of this mountain. I do like how you can just wander around the world. We have eagles here. There's the dragon. Grab the leaves. Herba. So the deer are friendly, aren't they? What's this here? What is that? What was that? A mushroom. Magic mushrooms.
Now I do know in this game you can get a mount. Is this a zombie camp? Got him. Okay, there's a wolf there as well. Dead already. Look at this place. Absolutely amazing. Okay guys, on that note I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell and I'll see you in the next one. You want some? Okay, that's not good. He called in the uh, reinforcements. Dead again. <laughs> Slaughtered.